Welcome, welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk, episode 24. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady, where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. Today, we're talking about exchanging cryptocurrency. All right. So the most popular cryptocurrency right now is Bitcoin. There are others. There is Ethereum. There is something else. I think it's called Ripple. There, and, and I was laughing because of Ripple. I'm thinking Fran Sanford, right? <laughs> but you got to be a little bit older to know about Fran Sanford and some Ripple. But anywho, there's all kinds of cryptocurrency that is popping up. And so I wanted to tackle this topic because it is a big question out there. Um, can you exchange cryptocurrency for other cryptocurrency without paying capital gains tax? And so I'm going to tackle a few things with this and, um, yeah, let you know what's going on in the world. All right. So first of all, cryptocurrency is treated as property, not as currency. It is not considered legal tender, even though it is widely accepted. It is still not legal tender. The legal tender in the United States of America is the US dollar. Over in Europe, you got euros, Mexico, you got pesos. You can only have one legal tender at a time. Cryptocurrency, therefore, is considered property. You, you think of it kind of like stocks, okay? Now, when you, because it's treated like property, in order for you to even receive capital gains treatment with your cryptocurrency, you must hold it for at least one year. That means that if you buy your crypto, you know, today, which is November 28th, right? You, if in order for you to receive capital gains treatment, then you need to sell it November 29th, 2018 or later. Now you might say what it constitutes a sale. Well, when you buy something with your Bitcoin, whether you go buy a car, a TV, buy a cup of coffee, a sandwich, whatever, that is cons that constitutes a sale. All right. So if you hold your cryptocurrency for a year, you receive long term capital gains treatment, which the max capital gains tax is 20 percent. Anything less than a year you pay at the ordinary income rate, which is determined by how much money you make. So that's going to fluctuate. So you really want to buy and hold for at least a year. OK, so, yeah, a couple days will make a difference. So, like I said, using this example, if you buy your cryptocurrency on November 28th, 2017, if you sell it November 27th, uh, 2018, you pay the ordinary income tax rate, which is based on how much you make. But if you sell it November 29th, uh, 2018, then you receive long-term capital gains treatment. So yeah, that one year, that couple days actually does matter, all right? It's not like, you know, close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. No, it is exact, all right? Um, so now, the so then the question becomes, you know, with the, if I exchange my crypto for another crypto, so if I use my Bitcoin to buy Ethereum or if I uh, buy any other cryptocurrency, can I escape paying capital gains tax? And the answer is sure, maybe not. I don't know. All right. But really, what they're, what people are talking about is called a 1031 exchange. Okay. So under the tax code, most exchanges are taxable, right? Meaning that if you barter services between you and someone else. So let's say um, I have uh if i have a wedding i offer to do taxes for someone who plans a wedding right that is considered bartering but even bartering is taxable it's considered taxable under the irs uh code okay so that's where 1031 exchanges come in as an exception to the rule 1031 is supposed to be a like kind exchange and it started for real estate. So for instance, if I own a commercial real estate, uh, let, let's say I own a part of a strip mall, okay? Let's say I own the strip mall, but I want this 
commercial apartment building. I want to buy this apartment building. Well, then if you for under the 1031, you could actually exchange the strip mall for the apartment building because they're both commercial properties. Okay. So that is and and not have to uh, recognize any type of gain. Okay. So yeah, so that is what the like kind exchange is. However, you consider a stock, stocks and bonds and that type of thing do not qualify for 1031 exchange treatment, meaning that if you sell your stocks of Coke to buy, you know, stock in, I don't know, diapers, right? <laughs> if you if you sell your, your Coke shares to buy, you know, some Huggies, some stock in Huggies or whoever owns Huggies, right? I don't know all these who owns what type things, but it doesn't qualify for a 1031 exchange even though you're buying stock for stock, okay? So really, when it comes down to crypto cryptocurrency, it's a big question that the IRS really has not answered. However, because we've got all this tax reform coming up, the one thing that the House and Senate agree on is that cryptocurrency will not will not fall under the 1031 exchange rules. As a matter of fact, the House and Senate agree that they're restricting the 1031 exchange to real estate only, okay? So whatever happens, if the House um, passes their version and the Senate passes their version, they might have some things to fight over, but this is one thing they're not fighting over, okay? So they're going to restrict 1031 rules to real estate only. So this is a moot point as to whether or not you can exchange cryptocurrency for cryptocurrency and not pay capital gains tax. It does not fall under the 1031 exchange rules. Even though it's a question mark right now, once they get through with this tax reform, yeah, it will not be a question mark any longer. The other thing that I hear that's out there, this is a, as an aside, is exchanging cryptocurrency. So to let's say buy a house or some land or something, not being a taxable exchange, that is incorrect, okay? You might be able to get away right now with exchanging Bitcoin for other Bitcoin or even Bitcoin for another type of cryptocurrency saying, okay, well, there was no guidance. And listen to me, get you an attorney. Do not sit here and say, this is the world according to Lysandra, so this is what I'm going to do, <laughs> okay? But if you were going to, you know, if in, in my mind, in my opinion, if the IRS was going to give you any leeway on anything, it would be exchanging uh, Bitcoin for other Bitcoin or you know something along that line buying more bitcoin or buying more ethereum with your ethereum you're staying within the exact same cryptocurrency but trying to say that i'm you know exchanging my cryptocurrency for a house and then i don't have to pay any capital gains that is absolutely incorrect for any other property it does not matter it, it is considered a sale okay now even if you were to qualify for a 1031 exchange, you still have to report it, okay? You actually have to report your 1031 gains on a form. I think it's an 8824. Let me look. I think it's an 8824. Don't quote me on form numbers, but the fact is you still have to report it. I'm looking on my, yep, 8824. All right. So, uh, so, the, so the takeaway here is this: number one, you need to make sure that you track your track your transactions. Okay, you you gotta do it. Track your purchases, track your sales. As a matter of fact, you need to make sure you get my uh, my Bitcoin tax guide. You guys, um, I'm watching to see what's happening with tax reform, and you know, little stuff comes out every day. So definitely keeping my ear to the ground on this. But know that the 1031 exchange does not apply when you are exchanging your cryptocurrency for other stuff, whether it's a car, a house, a sandwich, some land, I don't care. It is, constitutes a sale and you, are, you may incur capital gains tax. Depending on how long you have held your cryptocurrency, it may be the long-term capital gains 
tax, or it may be what you hear called a short-term capital gains, but dude, it's just the ordinary income tax rate. The max income tax rate is 39.6% right now, and uh, the max capital gains rate is 20%. So you wanna hold your cryptocurrency for at least a year. Please, oh please, oh please, okay? So please stop swiping your Bitcoin debit card just like it's your job, okay? Because you gotta track all those transactions. Um, but yeah, so that's, so that's the thing. Cryptocurrency does not apply um, under the 1031 exchange. All swaps are taxable. That's it. So, yeah. So I really hope this helps you out and clear some things up. You know, cryptocurrency is a little bit of muddy water right now. And, you know, right now it's also considered a haven for tax evaders. You guys have heard me say this before. So you really want to make sure that you track your transactions, that you report your gains, because the IRS is coming for people who 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 look like they are intentionally and willfully avoiding paying capital gains tax they're coming it's just a, it's not a matter of if it's when okay so you want to make sure to stay on the right side of the law like i said nobody wants to pay taxes everybody hates it so let's you know stick to what's within the law and pay the lowest amount legally possible can we get down with that can we agree on that but, um, you know, but I know of people who are saying, okay, well, I'm, you know, not paying capital gains because I'm exchanging crypto for crypto. It's a little fuzzy. I'm telling you, it's going to be a big picture thing. So when this tax reform comes out, um, you know, depending on what they get passed, this is the one thing that the House and Senate do agree on. So know that this will not be an argument much longer. Okay, so I really hope this helps you out. When I get done, I'm going to post the link to my Bitcoin tax guide. You can get it at bit.ly forward slash Bitcoin tax guide. Okay, you can grab a copy there. Uh, lots of good information on there. As a matter of fact, I spoke with the CPA. She said, you need to take that down and sell it. Do not give it away for free. <laughs> but I'm giving this away because I know there are a lot of people who are investing in Bitcoin and buying Bitcoin and other types of cryptocurrency. Hey, get down and do what you do. But you just want to make sure that you understand the tax implications and you stay on the right side of the law with the IRS. Okay. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to Home Biz Tax Talk. I am here Monday through Friday. Come here to get your questions answered. All right. Have a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye.